Yo, PGH Comic Expert here, coming at you with my weekly haul video. A hot book alert in this haul video, and maybe a kind of hot book alert. Uh, just speculative, but uh, we'll see where it leads. So, uh, I'm going to kick this off because I don't have a lot of time today. Uh, I'm going to start off with Afterlife with Archie number 8. I just bought this one. I just, you know. I was subscribed. I did have a pull list, but I canceled it. And one of those titles was Afterlife with Archie. I do love the Francovia covers and uh, artwork and everything. And believe it or not, it's not a bad story. Um, the original Afterlife with Archie, the first six, they're actually pretty popular. So uh, I've just been reading it. I haven't actually read that one yet, so I can't tell you if it's that great. But if it is pretty good, I'll probably pick up the next one. I know there's been some publication issues with these two because it took a long time for number eight to come out after number seven was released. Okay, at that same store I was looking for Action Comics 834 but I did find 894 and that is the first appearance of Death uh, that would be Sandman's sister from Sandman Volume 2 and this is the first appearance of her in continuity of the DC Universe. So if this is anything like uh, Harley or what Livewire is becoming these might uh, she might actually take off I know she's quite the interesting character and her it, her first appearance in Sandman number eight uh, that Sandman volume two is highly sought after so and it's pretty expensive on eBay so why I think her secondary first appearance might actually uh, take off which is why I bought two of them uh, one of them is actually already on eBay so we'll see Okay, here's an interesting one. Uh, just nothing really special about it, but I did buy it because I did like the, I bought the cover, or I like the cover. And that is Superman Man of Steel number 75. That is the death of Mr. Mixbultik. I think I said his name correctly. Uh, nice cover swipe of uh, Superman 75, which was, you know, the death of Superman. So I thought that was interesting. Just a funny cover. Okay, uh, I believe this is a hot book. Uh, I've seen, I think this is the third print. Um, they didn't really tell you back then if what was the print. You just kind of had to go by the barcode, and it does have a, uh, a three at the end of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there anyway, because I thought it was a great find. That is Super Batman Superman, or Superman Batman, however we're going to say it, number one. Um, there is a variant of this book going for a lot of money on eBay right now. And when I saw number one, even though it was a third print, I just had to buy it because, you know, I actually like the artwork on this one, and I believe I read some of the trades one day just randomly at Barnes & Noble, and I thought it was a great story. And the movie's coming out. Okay. So, I decided to raid this guy's, uh, this is at uh, Infinity Comics in Murraysville, by the way. I decided to raid his Wolverine stash, and he had quite a bit of Wolverine books there. So, i um, been wanting to finish the Old Man Logan story, and I was able to do it in a wayward fashion. So, I picked up number 68. That's the first print, first cover. And then I went and found the variants, the fourth printing variants. This is number 66, so the fourth printing uh, of old, first appearance of Old Man Logan. And then I did get 67, fourth print variant. So the connecting covers. Then 68, fourth print variant with the connecting cover. And then 69 uh, also starts a new connecting cover. And then there's 70, and then that was it. I did not, he did not have any other of the fourth printing variants. He probably didn't order them. 
knowing him the way I do. He said he only orders stuff that sells. So that's that. But did get a nice chunk. I basically finished the run. Fourth prints, third prints, whatever. Um, the only book that really matters is number 66. So I did get number 71. That's a first print. I found that at a different shop this week. Um, I love that cover. I mean, just look at that. What's not to love about that cover with Wolverine with bullets in his head? All right, it's number 72. Found that at a different shop. Uh, Red Skull wearing the Captain America uniform. That's quite the interesting cover. And at the same shop where I picked up all the variants, uh, he did uh, have these. It makes me wonder how much this guy's actually stashing in his back room because if he just doesn't want to stock it. I mean, I've said things about him before where he doesn't, you know, every time I come in, he's like playing video poker or whatever, and he, it just makes me wonder how much inventory he really has in the back that he could capitalize on, but just doesn't put out because he's playing, you know, five hands of poker at the same time. So, wrapped it up with Giant Size Wolverine number one, volume two. That is uh, the final issue of Old Man Logan, and I love that cover because it has the Hulk in the background in the cave. You see his hands coming out there. Uh, he did have a couple of those left, and I haven't seen that anywhere else. Uh, so while at that same shop, I decided to ask him, well, one, in the wild, I found while I was going through his Old Man Logan's a couple of days ago, which made me go back to the store, which I hadn't been there in a while. Boom. If, uh, <laughs> to put it like D, uh, one of my recent subscribers, Detroit Madman, if, if you're going to be a baller, I mean, here we go. <laughs> this is Wolverine number 66. That's volume two. It's a first print. And that is the first appearance of Old Man Logan. This was in the back issue stock, okay, of that, that same shop with the poker player guy. So then I decided to ask him. I mentioned it to him. He's like, what's with all the, why he goes, he knows that I come in and he, he, he sometimes even gets irritated with me, which kind of irritates me because he gets uh, kind of snippy sometimes about how I buy his comics just so I can go sell them because he's got them lower priced. And I'm like, you know, my thoughts are, well, if you make your money, the money you want to make, then what's the, what do you care what I do with them? You know, I'm just going to sell them so I can buy more comics. So as a comic lover, you should be enthused that this is a method that's being used. But whatever. So yeah, I found this in his back issue lot. And when I went to pick up the rest of the run on uh, Friday, I uh, told him what was going on after he asked me. He said, why are you buying all these? And I told him why. And he said he looked at his inventory, and apparently he had a huge surplus of this book, this Wolverine 66, the main cover, not the, the Ross cover or whatever, um, the cover with the horse on it. That's a great cover. But So I told him, I was like, you know what? Hell with it. Give me two more. So there they are. So boom. Boom, look at that. Three copies. First appearance of Old Man Logan. Uh, I already have one of these spoken for. Uh, my friend in Omaha wants to wants to buy one off of me. And the other two, I'm probably going to keep two for myself for now. And uh, I already have one listed on eBay. So if I keep finding these books, though, I probably keep buying them, especially if the comic shops have them underpriced. This shop here, though, this this one's in Murraysville. This is like 30 miles outside of the city of Pittsburgh. So it's highly unlikely that anybody, like, really raids that shop. And the guy's got... It's so difficult to look through his back issues just because I had to cry. I literally had to get on the floor and pull out the long box because he has, like, you know, three-tiered shelves, and this one was on the floor just so I can find these old man Logans. <clears throat> So it's not, not a very back issue friendly place. All right, so wrapping up the weekend here, uh, made a stop at Half Price Books while I was out uh, near the airport. So 
uh, half price generally they don't get a ton but sometimes you at that I've had better luck at that one than I've had on my own in uh, in Monroeville here uh, the Monroeville one it just looks like a trash heap when you go in there I mean the comics are just strewn everywhere and they're just all this old modern this modern stuff that like has been reprinted a thousand times that nobody bought it's like overstock from stores but the one out in Robinson Town Center I did find some good ones uh, I've been trying to complete the Grey Hulk run so I found a bunch of them uh, we got 351 these are only a buck by the way so and these are going in my personal collection so 351 352 and uh, these is this is the non McFarlane era. Uh, McFarlane ended his reign, I think, at 346. We got 353. It's a great cover, and these are all in great shape. I mean, they have a little bit of spine roll. You can tell they've been red, but they're still in pretty nice shape. I haven't changed the bags on them yet. This is probably one of my favorite covers uh, of that run. So that's 353. So we got up to 354. And these are mostly newsstands, if not all, by the way. So I love that cover. That's just, you know, I don't know who this Pervs guy is, but um, it's a pretty nice cover. We got 358. And 358. And, oops, I went backwards. We got 357 too. So again, great covers. Uh, the Gray Hulk, the Joe Fixit Hulk. You can see right here in the corner the stand. You know that he's wearing the Joe Fixit suit. Uh, definitely love those ones. Okay, wrapping it up here. Uh, I did ask the clerk at half price to get me the collectible books. Excuse me, and uh, I looked through them, and there were a handful in there. There were some that were overpriced, that were beat to crap, so I just decided to let them go. But I've been trying to complete the Alan Moore's uh, Watchmen run too, and I still need a good bit of issues. But this one ate up a good bit. Now I only need the, the back end. So we had these are only seven bucks a piece, which is pretty good because I usually see these for more in this condition. So we had three. Four, five, and six. So, yep, picked all those up. Uh, now I only need issues eight, and eight through eleven, and I should have that complete. So, I'm just going to put my favorite cover back out here. So, that's it. That's my haul. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, again, short video today, so uh, looking forward to the feedback. And uh, that's it. Peace.